Hello and welcome to another standard video here in the preview event for Bloomborough. Today we're going to try to combo off with our Rotten Mouth Viper, this 6 mana 6-6, six, six, since as an additional cost to cast it, we may sacrifice any number of non-land permanents and get a 1 mana discount for each one of those permanents sacrificed. So that allows us to potentially play the Viper on turn 3 already in this deck, since we've got a lot of cards that generate multiple permanents. And then whenever the Viper enters or attacks, we can put a Blight counter counter on it, and then for each blight counter on it, each opponent loses for life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Now we are giving the opponent a lot of agency over the Viper's ability, but usually they end up empty-handed pretty quickly, and then at that point the Viper starts dealing additional damage and forcing them to sacrifice things they don't want to sacrifice. So especially once we play the Viper and then attack with it, those blight counters and that ability starts adding up very quickly. And we can even give the Viper haste in this deck to immediately attack with it, thanks to the Lava Spur boots. Sometimes we'll also end up sacrificing it just to play the Viper in the first place, but ideally we can both play the Viper and give it haste. That way we get the first Blight counter when Viper enters, and then two more when it attacks. So that's three triggers. Opponent has to maybe discard three cards. If they're empty-handed, that's 12 additional damage potentially, so that certainly adds up. So that's our game plan. Now, of course, we're not guaranteed to have Viper in every opening hand, which is why we also need a bit of card draw. And that's where Lord Skitter's Blessing and the Roll Tokens will also come in handy. And we can immediately enchant a creature when Lord Skitter's Blessing enters with a Wicked Roll, which is also a permanent we can sacrifice to the Viper's ability. So all the Roll Tokens are also quite useful in giving us a discount later. And then as long as we control an enchanted creature at the beginning of our draw step, we lose one life and draw an additional card and we've got additional roll tokens to support it, coming from the Spiteful Hexmage, which comes with a cursed roll, can curse itself if we play it on turn 1, can also curse maybe a 1-1 token later in the game, so we don't lose any power and toughness, and once again, this is also two permanents we can sacrifice to the Viper to speed things up. Then we also have the roll token from the Witch's Vanity, which is also the only removal we have in our deck. Can start by destroying a creature with mana value 2 or less, then makes a food token, and then finally gives us a Wicked roll token as well, which can also help out with Lord Skitter's Blessing. And then we also have the full set of Nurturing Pixie, which when it enters can return a non-fairy, non-land permanent we control to its owner's hand. If we do, the Pixie also ends up with an extra plus one plus one counter, so we get a 2-2 flyer, and we get to pick up some of our permanents, such as the Witch's Vanity to maybe destroy another creature, especially if we've already made a food token. This can provide a lot of extra permanence for us. Can also pick up a Hopeless Nightmare, which makes the opponent discard a card and lose two when it enters, and when we sacrifice it, we get to scry two. So it's good to start emptying the opponent's hand early. That way, once we play the Viper, they're less likely to have a bunch of cards in hand they can discard to the ability. And then if we sacrifice Nightmare when playing the Viper, we also get to scry two. So that also provides a lot of value. And once again, good to pick up with our Pixie. And then there's the Novice Inspector making a clue token when it enters. So once again, two permanents for just one mana to contribute towards the Viper's ability. And then at two mana, there's a Carrot Cake making a 1-1 Rabbit token and letting us scry one when it enters and when it gets sacrificed. Can also sacrifice it as a food token to gain three life, but ideally we're sacrificing it to the Viper and then we'll still have a leftover Rabbit afterwards to maybe set up a second Viper in case the first one gets removed. And then I'm also playing two copies of Builder's Talent, making an 04 wall token when it enters. Can also level it up to maybe give us some additional plus one counters, which also play well with cards like Nurturing Pixie, bouncing our stuff, and can eventually get something back from our graveyard. That's a non creature, a non land permanent. Sadly, cannot reanimate the Viper, but can still get back some of our enchantments. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire deck. The mana base has lots of black-white dual lands, and then just 22 lands total since our curve is incredibly low. We can easily operate on three or four lands for the rest of the game. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play. This hand is tempting since we have Viper, although we are missing black mana. I can maybe scry with a carrot cake, pick it up with Pixie to scry again. So that all sort of helps. It's not the smoothest start, but we'll give it a shot. And then I'll play Pixie just to have an extra permanent in play to eventually sacrifice. Alright, so play Carrot Cake, attack for one. 
And I need black mana. Any third land at the very least lets me play Pixie, replay Carrot Cake, which is still better than not doing anything. A red green. At least red green doesn't tend to have great answers to a 6 6 creature. Although they may be able to uh, block it reasonably well. Opponent on a raccoon deck. And we found our black mana. Perfect. So I could already play Viper. And yeah, I think that's reasonable here. The sooner the better. And then next turn I can enchant it with Lord Skitter's Blessing to enhance it even more. And a Hex Mage could be alright, but with double Blessing I'm not worried about running out of creatures with a roll token. So turn 3 Viper, that's kind of our game plan. We're pretty good at enabling it turn 3, since most of our cards tend to generate multiple permanents. Bowden gets rid of a Feral Encounter. It's going to be Feral Encounter. Do they have a couple pump spells, maybe? That would do it. If they have double Monstrous Rage, they get to take out the Viper here. Which would be unfortunate. Or maybe they're just looking for another creature to cast. If we lose our Rampage, I think we'll survive. Take out the trash. Yeah, that'll do it. Three damage. And now our opponents expended four, so they get to deal three more with a Feral Encounter. Alright, well, did not expect uh, a double removal here. That's too bad. So, don't get to have our fun. At least our creature enchanted by Lord Skitter's Blessing is more likely to draw cards. Do I just double up on Lord Skitter? Yeah, may as well. If they take out the rabbits, then Pixie can pick up Blessing and then I can enchant it again. And hopefully they're out of removal. Yeah, 7-7 seven, seven Viper would have survived. Next is the Trash Tactician, which can generate additional mana for them. So at least no removal for the Rabbit, it seems. Another Lord Skitter's Blessing, the draw. Which is Vanity, is not bad. And another Viper, excellent. So Vanity, take out the Mentor. And then I can play Viper for one mana if I sacrifice most of my things. So I guess I can make it two mana, keep Vanity on the battlefields. Since we have another Lord Skitter's Blessing incoming, and then Vanity I can also pick up with a Pixie for value. All right, there's another Viper. Let's see if they can deal with the second one. I suppose instead of playing the Vanity, I could have opted for just play Viper and then immediately enchant it to make it a 7-7 this time. But uh, the opponent has a lot more mana to work with. So if they were to run it back, they also would have had a bigger Mentor, so they still get to take care of a 7-7 Viper. Although... If it does survive, then I guess Blessing immediately starts drawing cards, but denying the extra mana when they have the Tactician in play especially seemed worth it. But yeah, Red Green can come up with some very large creatures themselves, so the 6-6 may not be all that devastating. Our best hope is that they try and double or triple block it, and then Pixie picking up the uh, Witch's Vanity again can clear a path. As we see, another Mentor. 
And then... Uh, it's gonna be a sharpshooter next, which can destroy our enchantments. Although, they would need to gift a card, which they may not be interested in. Nope. We do get to draw, find uh, boots. So now I don't get to pick up my Witch's Vanity to clear path. I can, however, discard their last card. Blessing, make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. So their blocks don't look quite as good anymore. So opponent's trading pretty much no matter what. So at that point, yeah, maybe going Lord Skitter's Blessing, pick it up with a Pixie is fine. That way we also trigger the Wicked Roll. And then Pixie could also go for pick up Nightmare to just make the opponent lose two if they're going to be low enough. So that could be a way to cross the finish line, deal the last points of damage. Yeah, so our opponent double blocks. And then I guess they fall to two from the Wicked Roll. So then uh, replaying the Nightmare would be game next turn. So that seems fine. And Pixie is also lethal by itself. Alright, that was a nice game. Opponent had the answer to the first Viper. Second one also died, but still provided a lot of value. And we still have some nice leftovers here. And our opponent explodes. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got double Viper, so those are good. And then we should be able to enable them here. Nightmare into Builder's Talent. Could already play turn three. Opponent with a Vine Lasher. Okay, still probably in favor of Nightmare. Can play Hex Mage the same turn we play Viper to sacrifice it. Cut down's gone. Would have been able to take out our wall token as well. Alright, zero point on lizards. And Mentor can provide them with some extra card advantage. The hope is that they don't have cards like Go for the Throat to take care of our Viper. So we're at 17. A mentor will trigger, so they're not planning to play a land with it. Hired Claw can deal one more damage when they attack. Times two. And a cut down. Alright, that's too bad. So I can still play the Viper next turn. If I go Hex Mage into Viper, sacrificing everything. But our opponent could potentially find answers. So, yeah, stick to the plan. And then Scry, looking for more enablers for the second Viper. Opponent doesn't have anything to discard, so it's either lose for life or sacrifice an online permanent. And then Mentor is the priority, since that can find them removal for Viper. So opponent's gonna keep it back. No, go for the throat at least. Although, they found some creatures. And Gav. Alright, so... If I play Blessing and Hex Mage... I would have four things to sacrifice. So I'm 
one short of playing Viper unless I sacrifice the other Viper, which is probably not the goal. Um, can I survive if I just have a Hex Mage on defense? Opponent attacking for one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven with a land. So it's going to be close. If they play a Lizard, that's one more damage. So it's a close call. Wish we had one more thing to sacrifice. So attack. Opponent discarding a cutdown, sacrificing a creature. Yeah, I mean, keeping the Viper going that already has two counters seems worth it, but I think the play might just be to um, sacrifice the things I have in play. Or I can keep a 4-3, which blocks Mentor. I mean, this could work, and then Viper next turn still does a lot of damage for us, even as a 1-1. One -one. Ooh, opponent found a better Triumph. 5, 6, 7. So we fall to 1 and die to Lord Skitter's Blessing. That's unfortunate. I guess uh, the Vine Lasher will do the honors. Yeah, needed to dodge a removal spell there. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a reasonable hand. Missing Viper, of course. Can maybe look for it with Carrot Cake. Pixie can pick it back up or pick up Vanity if we need removal. Opponent also with Inspector. Not sure if it's going to be a mirror match. Seems unlikely. Alright, a Gleeful Demolition on two. It's like we're in the Ranked Lighter here. And a Warren Guard gets pumped by their tokens. So, which is Vanity? It is. Take care of Warren Guard. Can do it again next turn with Pixie. I see, there's also blue mana maybe for the Siren to make a map token to enable uh, the demolition. Alright, so run it back. Even though it would have been nice to pick up Carrot Cake to uh, scry more. Just under too much pressure. Reinforcements end of turn. So if they have a way to pump the team, we're in trouble. Two cards left in hand. Hop to it, make three more tokens. So they're going incredibly wide. So I guess we can try to keep up here. Carrot cake. See what's on top. Another carrot cake. I'll decline. I'm a bit too full. Inspector and then Hex Mage can put the enchantment on the rabbit. And then next turn we get a wicked roll which could replace the cursed roll if we don't care about having as many permanents as possible. And line up some blocks. I think their white creatures are better to take out since they can enable Convoke better. Still has a staking 4. We do have some food tokens at least. So those will come in handy. Does our opponent have another Gleeful Demolition and they're looking at which artifacts to destroy? Seems like it. Yep, yeah, takes out Carrot Cake. So I don't get the extra rabbit. 
All right, so a wicked roll can go on. Maybe the pixie to have a faster clock in the air while these play defense. And then maybe start by sacking the clue. And then play inspector. Keep up two mana for either a clue or a food token. And I think I'm fine attacking with pixie unless they find an anthem effect to pump the team. Then I may regret it. Then I can still trade and double block. Yeah, maybe that's fine. Although I guess if it's a recruiter, they're also attacking with an additional haste creature. All right, let's play it safe. Opponent had a reinforcement end of turn as well. So glad I stayed back. All right, just a land for now. And we can sack a clue, look for a viper. Another carrot cake for now. Pixie, pick up. Carrot cake is not the most exciting. That's bottom. And then the plan now is just sack the carrot cake, which will give us another rabbit. And uh, yeah, pass the turn. At some point I should start attacking with the Pixie, but again, if they top deck a Recruiter, we're taking a boatload of damage. There's a Siren as we suspected, the Blue Splash making more artifacts for demolition. Opponent gets to explore. Draws a land. And now they also have a Flying Creature. And then another Pixie once again, Hull Bottom. Hopeless Nightmare, opponent's empty-handed. Although I can still sacrifice it to Scry. And there's Viper at long last, which is Vanity. Could be a decent follow-up. Or I could look for another Viper. Since they may be able to trade for the first one. And then... I don't necessarily want to sack too many food tokens, although I have enough mana to cast a Viper for the most part now. And I'll still play it cautiously. Another land up the top. Yeah, it's probably fine to sack a food. And then play Viper. Give it haste. This is uh, six mana, so we can just pay a normal amount for it. And suit it up. So it took a while to finally get the Viper going. We've seen a third of our deck. Let's grind a few cards to the bottom as well. And it looks like Viper's gonna cross the finish line. Awesome, on to the next one. All right, we might get a rematch here. Got a Keeper, Inspector, which is Vanity, gives us some removal. Although can block the Hired Claw all that profitably. So we take two. And Mentor I can take out with a Vanity now. Next turn Pixie can pick up our enchantment and take out another creature. May as well attack since we're not blocking. And now Vine Lasher with Offspring. Okay, so still on Pixie, I think. Pick up Vanity. A 
and replay it. And let's go with uh, Hired Claw. And then next turn I can play Boots and immediately equip the Viper. Opponent cuts down Pixie. So we'll still get a food token here. Gotta watch out for instant speed removal. But opponent's gonna activate the village. So should be in the clear now. They could still cut down Inspector in response to the boots, but now it's go time. Could have maybe postponed Viper by playing Pixie once again on Vanity, which was doing good work for us. Since now it might be a little bit harder to get the second Viper in play if they have removal left over. But bones at four. And our opponent did have a bit of triumph left, but they had to discard to it. And builder's talent. Okay, so I could play Pixie, pick up the boots. Replay the boots, equip Pixie, attack for three. That's one approach. Or we can go Builder's Talent, Pixie, pick up the Builder's Talent and try and set up another Viper for the win, which is maybe more fun. And I could still go double boots on Pixie next turn to attack for four. Right, Warlock luckily cannot take the Viper, so it takes the boots. So I can actually uh, play the Viper here. But yeah, we would have had lethal with Pixie and double boots, but just want to see more of the Viper in action. And we should be safe here. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. We do not have our Viper, nor do we have card draw. So this hand may not be quite good enough. Alright, we've got a Token from Carrot Cake we can enchant. Probably get rid of one of the boots. Facing red black. So we can expect some removal. Which is not good news for Lord Skitter's Blessing. I'll keep the Hex Mage since it gives us another creature with a roll token to maybe draw with Lord Skitter. And our opponent getting rid of a Cruel Claw, so they must already have one in hand. Alright, let's uh, go with Blessing. Could also play Hex Mage, Enchanting the Rabbit, and then Blessing the Hex Mage. Is that better or worse for me? Yeah, I guess that's maybe slightly better. Although it seems like they have a cut down in hand, so they will be able to take out Hex Mage here. So if I played it differently, I would have had a 2 2 Rabbit left over perhaps, although they would have probably taken out the Rabbits, and then I'm left with a 1 1 Hex Mage. So it's pretty similar. And yeah, there's a Cruel Claw as we suspected. So got a Carrot Cake. Hope to find a Viper soon.
I could try and triple block the Cruel Claw here, which is maybe worth it. Or just double block with Inspector and the Rabbit. Opponent's got another removal spell, although Go for the Throat was going to be good against us no matter what. Still get to draw with Lord Skitter's Blessing at least, although Witch's Vanity is not what we need. So a draw with a clue. And still nothing. I guess we'll sack the Carrot Cake. Equip the Rabbit. Inspector I can play, sack the Clue, but... Just finding the Viper would be better. So I could still hang back and try and double block. Might be better than shipping in for a couple points. Now Liliana allows him to attack past my Rabbits. So I'll keep the Enchanted one. And hope they don't reveal anything too scary. Cruelty of Gix, pretty good. Bonus starts from chapter one, but we're empty handed. Hopeless Nightmare can make them discard. Can finish off Liliana at least. Opponent had an Atraxa left, so they will be able to reanimate that soon. They can also search up maybe the Avarice to set up the Cruel Claw, if I don't keep enough blockers back. So I might have to sack Carrot Cake, play Builder's Talent instead of maybe sacrificing the Nightmare. And then I still get to finish off Liliana. And there's a Viper at long last. So I don't think it matters too much what we suit up. Maybe the wall. And then next turn we can finally play Viper and give it haste with the boots. And now Shieldred. Take our draw. Lose two more to Shieldred. Alright, so... Play Viper, give it haste. Um, at this point, I don't have to sacrifice anything. Which is maybe better, although maybe Nightmare is still reasonable. Just to scry. And then I don't need to do anything else. And then another Lord Skitters is quite painful in the face of Shieldred, although they might be forced to trade here. Although I guess next turn they get to reanimate Atraxa. So the opponent's probably gonna trade, get back Atraxa, and then I pretty much need another Viper to stand a chance. So equip Viper and attack. And then I can either move the boots or level up Builder's Talent. Opponent does take the trade. But uh, I don't think we're beating an Atraxa here. Opponent had Avarice left, so that would have been able to set up the Cruel Claw had they been able to attack unopposed. But yeah, Hatraxa is pretty rough. Finds plenty of removal. So they can take out a Viper if it shows up. Well, we at least got to deploy the Viper. It was just a little too late to the party. And yeah, Cruel Claw puts us under immense pressure right away.
Caustic Bronco is next. And a Flash Gorger. Alright, I think we're done here. Vanity can take out a Bronco. Finally found a target. Inspector can draw. Give us a plus one counter. And another Witch's Vanity. Not too many targets in this matchup. So I can play another Vanity just to maybe set it up for a potential top deck next turn. Although there's another Cruelty which can once again reanimate stuff. Putting back up to 20. So Viper's not saving us here. And another Boots. Alright, GG's. At least Builder's Talent is going off. Can use it once again. And get back Hopeless Nightmare. But uh, that'll be it. Another Atraxa in hand. Alright. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. No card draw, no Viper, just a Scry, and then some removal for aggro decks. There are matchups where this could play out fine if we find Viper soon enough, but I'll look for something a little bit more exciting. Alright, this counts. And then... Maybe get rid of the Pixie. Although Pixie picking a Blessing could be a way to re-enable it if they remove the first creature we enchant. Although Inspector just provides a little bit more value instantly. Pixie plus Nightmare is also a good combination. But we'll try and get the Blessing going as soon as possible to start drawing. Put under red-black. So we can expect some removal spells. Maybe it's reasonable to wait a turn on Lord Skitter's Blessing, and for now, a Nightmare, play another Inspector. That way if I top deck a Viper, I'm more likely to be able to cast it as well. And then uh, we'll see what our opponent's up to. Alright, it's a Lizard deck. Alright, time to play the Blessing, I think. Could offer the trade for Gav, but don't really want that to happen. And then Vanity can maybe take care of it next turn. Alright, Vine Lasher with Offspring. That's fine. Both creatures get a counter. But there's our Viper. Excellent. So, how many things can we sacrifice? Ideally, we keep Blessing, Inspector, and the Wicked Roll going. Which, yeah, I could sack four things. Played for two mana, and then I could still Witch's Vanity and sack the Vanity itself. Then, do we want another Vanity? Do we look for another Viper? Hexmage provides another roll token, although opponent's probably going to be busy answering Viper as opposed to the Inspector now. 
So I'll keep the vanity bottom the hex mage. And hope they can't answer the viper right away. It is a magnet for removal. Right, laughing Jasper. We cannot take out with our vanity. But we still get to attack after taking out their Vine Lasher. So they would have to double block to trade. Could have also gone Pixie, pick a Blessing replay to make this a 7 7. But they still would have been able to trade then. So let's attack. And then. Might be able to attack with the Inspector, since they're so likely to double block, but on the off chance that they just discard some cards, I don't want to lose Inspector for free. And then we do need to try and find another Viper here if they trade. Put on discarding a couple cards. And they took it, alright, so they've got other plans for now. Can go Pixie, pick up Vanity. Although waiting for the food token also would have been reasonable, so we have more random permanence in case a second Viper shows up. Uh, Edict, sank the Pixie. And take four. So we've got an uncontested Rotomouth Viper, which will likely go the distance. Especially after we clear their only blocker. Alright, sweet. Three counters, that's the most we've got so far. Awesome, so yeah, Blackwise Rotomouth Viper could be a thing in standard. I'm still tinkering with other builds. Black Red also seems promising since we can generate lots of treasure tokens to uh, sacrifice to the Viper, could play the uh, Demolition as well to make Goblin tokens and go wide. So there might be a bit of overlap there as well. But uh, yeah, overall, Rotten Mouth Viper seems like a fun build around. May not be the most competitive card out there since you do need a lot of setup for it. And if the opponent is prepared for it with a counter spell or instant speed removal, they can mitigate how much damage it does. So there's certainly a surprise factor to the deck, which may fade as the deck becomes more popular. But for now, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day.